Pacific Regional Multiple Listing Service presents Residential Real Estate Purchase and Sale Agreement Form 21 Included Items A list of items included in the sale of residential real estate is not included in the listing agreement. Listing agents should be aware of the wording in the purchase and sale agreement and encourage your sellers to remove any items listed in the general terms C that they do not want to be included in the sale of their property, such as grandma's chandelier in the dining room, window treatments that are part of a match set, or maybe that shrub that has personal meaning to them, and replace with a substitute item before the property becomes an active listing. General Terms Paragraph C Any of the following items located in or on the property are included in the sale. Built-in appliances, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, curtains, drapes, and other window treatments, window and door screens, awnings, storm doors and windows, installed television antennas, ventilating air conditioning and heating fixtures, trash compactors, fireplace doors, gas logs and gas log lighters, irrigation fixtures, electric garage door openers, water heaters, installed electrical fixtures, lighting fixtures, shrubs, plants and trees planted in the ground, all associated operating remote controls and other fixtures, plus items identified in specific term number five if the corresponding box is checked stove range, washer, dishwasher, fireplace insert, satellite dish, attached televisions, microwave, refrigerator, dryer, hot tub, wood stove, security system, attached speakers, generator, and other items that may be written in if the corresponding box is checked. Buyer's agent, items included in the MLS listing that are not checked in specific terms number five are not included in the purchase and sale agreement and the seller has the right to take those items. Items checked in specific term number five that were not in or on the property at the time of showing are not included in the purchase and sale agreement. If you have any questions, please contact your designated broker or your local association.